and we are currently printing um, another one of these supports for mm -hmm. more filament. Um, so um, yeah, we're uh, we're able to load in different files from like the internet, and uh, mm -hmm. soon we're going to be able to make our own files. Um, so we just load them onto this program. And um, we tell the printer how much we want certain things filled in, or um, which color we want them. So the extruders in the printer, uh, they have two different colors. So on the left we have the white, and on the right we have the black. And we can do um, dual colors, so we can use both nozzles to make um, a two-colored piece, or we can just use one extruder for a um, single-colored piece. So right now we are preheating the 3D printer and we are preparing the file to be sent over to be printed. And uh, soon we're hoping to make other things like little Christmas gifts for people, like keychains and stuff. And um, we can work with our engraver and we can actually engrave things into the pieces okay. that we make. It might be starting to print. Yeah. Now, until it actually gets to the temperature that's needed, it will probably, it could hang itself up right about here. If it's preheated, yeah, see what is it's done that, now it's setting the um, nozzles up, getting ready to print. Once the temperature is reached, you'll see that the, the entire platform will move up and they'll start printing. Mm -hmm. So the technology is here. Uh, today to, to use this for all sorts of things like and the military uses these right now to help build actual airport airport pieces uh, to be able to land aircraft on different islands in the Pacific so it's really kind of cool where 3d printing is going it is our first print on the 3d printer uh, to test our calibration and to make sure that we set the nozzles up right there was enough space in between and it turned out really well for the first print. So uh, we were uh, experimenting for a while with the files and uh, trying to get it to download and um, turn out. Yeah. Yep. We've done the tugboat. Uh, there's a little white worm <coughs> or snake, sorry, over there um, that's actually flexible because we left space in between some of the pieces. Um, we did a couple of die. This was um, a successful one. <laughs> and actually the holder for our filament right now outside of the machine we printed those as well other than the woodies but <laughs> yeah the black and white plastic triangles and that's really the first like practical like thing that we've actually been able to use and it's really cool to see that we can actually like use our printer to print stuff that can benefit um the whole cat pack